Good day, Sven the Slayer here once again, and welcome back to StarMaid. This is episode 9 of my Practical Logic series, and in today's episode, I'm going to be going over how to build animation circuits, also known as reversing signal generators. So this simple circuit can be used to create animated doors that'll disappear into the wall, ones that have a sliding animation, simple oscillating pistons like this one here, or more complex oscillating pistons like that one back there. Any kind of to and from animation, um, first in, last out kind of thing. And the circuit is very easy to build. It is actually only two logic blocks per frame of animation for this one, and three blocks per frame of animation for this one here. So I'll show you how to build it. The first thing you'll need to do before building this is determine the state of your activation circuit. Now by default, Plex doors, when they're wired into an activator, are closed when the signal is high and open when the signal is low. Personally, I like having my doors open when the signal is high, so I start with a not here, but you can just use an activator if you choose. Now this will be the first frame of our animation and we'll just need a delay chain from there for every additional frame and this door is five high so we want four delays just like that now next up you will need ores on the short side so the side from the activator you'll need ores up until the center point and then on the other side you'll need ands now, the center one doesn't need anything, um, but if this was, say, six long, like so, the center would get an OR, and then you'd have three ANDs here. So, you need the same number of ORs and the same number of ANDs. It's basically a mirror image. But for this door, we'll just need like that. And then next up, you want to wire in this OR, the not the first frame of your animation it could be a delay or um, the activator or the not here it's personal preference so that'll wire into the or next to it and then the mirror image the and on the other side the next one the delay will wire into the or next to it and then mirror image the or and on the other side this one's dead center so it doesn't care and then here the and next to it and then the mirror image or on the other side. And then the last one is the and next to it, and then the mirror image on the other side. So it's, they're very easy to build. Once you know how to build one, you can make them as long as you need to be. And then it just works. Well, first you have to um, cycle it a couple times. So to wire it into the door, we want the end of the circuit, which is actually our first frame it runs backwards and then in this setup so and then the next frame and we can take the input directly off of this delay here and we now have a functioning door open and close so I've gone ahead and built this little representation without the delays to demonstrate what is happening here. So this is your first frame of the animation, and it is connected to that OR and that AND over there. So when this turns off, this OR is still receiving a signal from this side, so it stays on, but this AND is no longer receiving a s both of the signals it needs to stay high. So it turns low. And then this one will turn off, or turn low, so now this AND is no longer receiving both of the signals here and here that it needs to stay high. But this OR is still receiving a signal from over here, so it stays high. Next up, this one turns off, and it's just it's center point, it doesn't matter. And then this one will turn off, and now this OR is no longer receiving any signals. And then this will turn off, so this OR is no longer receiving any signals. So you can see how it runs backwards. Now when it's going high, it's this OR will turn on, but the AND's not receiving both, and then so on and so forth. And that is how this circuit functions with so few blocks. Now that I've showed you how to build it and gone over how it works or why it works, I just have to show you the uh, optional steps on how to turn it into a sliding door or an oscillating piston. 
So that's very easy as well. Just off of every animation frame, you want to place down, um, yeah, place down some knots, and then again from the far side, being your first frame, you want to build up off of the knots. And we now, after cycling it once, we'll have a sliding door. And turning it into an oscillating circuit is just as easy as turning this delay chain into a clock. To do that, we'll just remove that bit there and replace them with a delay and then wire that delay into the appropriate connections. So the first and last, the first OR and last AND, and then the delay in the chain. And then from there, the, uh, the last delay in the chain, we want an AND into a NOT, and then that NOT back into the first of the delay. So this will actually be a clock. So it'll open, and then immediately close, and then immediately open, and so on and so forth. Now you'll just have to wire in an activator to give you control over that clock. And it is that simple to build an oscillating animated circuit. Now over here is slightly more difficult because the head of the piston is only on for one frame each. So to do that off of the frames of the animation I have an AND and then from the next frame of the animation a NOT which will turn that AND low when that frame when the second frame comes up. So I'm not going to go over in depth how to build a whole bunch of different animated circuits because they will basically change depending on the construction of the circuit it's the uh, what you're trying to animate. Um, so if you want to look at this further you can download this board and that'll about cover it for today's video. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I will see you in the next video.